And one other thing which I find challenging about your particular you know, skill set is when you have to depict a story or a play where the time, cha- time and situation changes really fast and you have to show mm. it on a stage. I mean, that must be a challenge. Have you ever done anything like that? And how, how much work goes into you know, all the brainstorming process? Yeah, it's interesting, um, you, you know, because you've got to find details that tell the audience that, um, you know, but a lot of times, a lot of times, to be honest, that falls more to the costume designer uh, than it does to the set designer. It depends on the t- shift in time, because if you're looking at somebody's house, for example, um, the, you know, Usually the changes, let's say that you jump forward in time a year or two years, usually the changes to somebody's house in one or two years are not that huge. Mm. It might be a few small things. It might be a piece of furniture. One piece of furniture has changed. And, you know, obviously the things on the table have changed. Right. And, you know, uh, maybe the positions of the blinds or the, you know, but it's not, yeah. they're not like, these are not giant changes. So they're subtle. Um, and you know, usually you don't want to be, you don't want to go overboard with that because otherwise it seems sort of confusing and jarring, but, Mm. but on the other hand, people's clothes in two or three years or in a year might change quite a bit. Um, and so depending on the character, you know, depending on the person, some people's clothes change more than others. Some people wear the same thing forever, but, um, (laughs) Steve Jobs. (laughs) Yeah. But also this, you know, this time, you know, even just the time of year will really change that with the clothes. Doesn't necessarily change it with the physical environment of the set, uh, depending on what you're seeing. So, it, you know, it's a subtle thing. I, you know, but then there are plays that, that take big leaps in time. And that's, you know, that's when it gets to be fun when you jump, you know, 20 years because, yeah. you know, uh, especially, especially if it's in 20 years within the last hundred years, because things change so rapidly, um, and you know, and that's that's really fun. True, it's uh, really great to hear that. And secondly, there was also this thing in my mind that uh, you know you have created and set design for you know, more than 350 theatrical productions. How are you able to keep coming up with you know, fresh ideas? And what is your main research process that makes you so original each and every time? Because I don't know, maybe sometimes you have to post, you know, say design for the same sort of play or story again. So are you able to portray some uniqueness and freshness each and every time? Well, there's always a different combination of, of, you know, of factors. Number one is the script, um, you know, uh, every, so that, that's where the, that's the, that's the major influence of the story is, you know, the story tells you so much of, of, of what you're going to do. But even if you're coming back to do the same play again, let's say it's, you know, let's say it's a Sondheim musical or a Shakespeare play that, you know, you might do, you might do a couple of productions of that in your lifetime. Um, Chances are it's going to be with a different director. Um, mm. And the other thing is, if it's a if it's a play or musical that's good enough that it merits multiple productions, it also means there's a lot of different ways to do it. And oh. um, so it's, you know, in a funny way, uh, I can't say that my work is always original, but making it different is not really that much of a challenge because it just is different because you're telling a different story and you're working with a different director and you're working, you know, probably in a different space, a different theater. And so, you know, the minute you just change a couple of those variables, they're big variables. uh, You know, it's going to, it's just going to be different. Really? Well, I was just going to say the difference is, you know, that's, I mean, to me, that's the fun thing about, about set design is, is sort of developing, a world developing something that's unique to that production I and mean, that's that's what's exciting about it yeah it's a uh, really great and secondly you know <laughs> when it comes to set design there is always involvement of directors and basically the cast and i want to ask is there in your career that have you you must have also you know worked with actors as well when it comes to designing the set i don't know if that's true so 
is there any actor have you worked with i mean how was that experience well usually the actors don't get involved in the set design mm. usually you know usually the set design is done before the actors are cast um for the most part that's usually the way it is but occasionally there's been a show that is you know it's like a star vehicle where you know an actor is the reason you're doing the show and in some cases like that um you know we we have done usually it's me and the director have done a sort of special preview mm -hmm. of the design for for that actor uh ahead of time but they're they're generally not involved with the design process okay yeah that's something new for me that the set design is done before the actual casting of the actors and secondly when it comes to you know a house like you were talking about no for your family it must be a relief to have such a creative mind inside because no one would have to worry about the furniture setting and all that <laughs> you're so good at it yeah yeah well, i i some i sometimes lazy about that in real life in my own life <laughs> yeah i mean i've seen i would that. say i'm much i'm much more of a perfectionist about that on stage than i am in my own life <laughs> <laughs> oh you know i've also seen that even the famous chefs they are quite lazy in their own house when it comes to you know yeah. <laughs> cooking cuisine so so it's it's quite re relatable and i can totally understand your side and also there must be so much work on the real stage that when you go home you do not want to be overburdened with other settings as well and so or any new painting you are working on Let's see. Well, I'm working on, I'm working on one. Uh, let's see if you can see it, right? Yeah, I can see right it on my shoulder. Yes, it's not quite finished yet, but I'm working on that. I, are you sure uh, it's a live painting or is it a printout? No, no, it's a painting. It's oil. <laughs> it seems it's so. Painting. It looks so perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's not perfect, but thank you. <laughs>